You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 16 of 2019, restructuring the Education and Training Quality Authority Board of Directors, and Royal Decree 17 of 2019, reorganizing the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Decree number 16 of 2019 stipulates the restructuring of the authority's board of directors, presided over by Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed and the following members: Dr. Mohammed Barak bin Dana, Hamad Faisal Al Malki, Faisal Mohammed Al Mahrous, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Janahi, Dr. Abdul Rahman Abdul Hussein Jawahiri, Aisha Mohammed. Abdul Ghani and Dr. Aisha Salam Mbarak. The board chairman and the first four members are appointed for four years and the others for three years. Decree 17 of 2019 stipulates the reorganization of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, including the following directorates under the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Directorate of Communication and Marketing, the Directorate of Investments, the Directorate of Policy and Strategic Planning, and the following directorates under the Undersecretary for Youth and Sports Affairs, Directorate of Human and Financial Resources, Directorate of Information Systems and the following directorates under the Assistant Under Secretary for Logistics and Initiatives, Directorate of Logistics and Services, Directorate of Youth Empowering, Directorate for Events and Programs, and the following directorates under the Assistant Under Secretary for Installations and Projects, Installations Directorate, Projects Directorate, and the following directorates under the Assistant Under Secretary for Monitoring and Licensing, Directorate for Monitoring and Auditing, and Directorate for Legal Affairs and Licensing. The decree also stipulates the rescinding of Decree 70 of 2015 regarding the reorganization of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, as well as the cancellation of any provisions that contradicts this decree. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the UK's Minister of State for the Middle East Alastair Burt at Glibia Palace. His Royal Highness and the UK's Minister of State for the Middle East discussed a wide range of areas of cooperation, noting the close and historic bilateral relationship between Bahrain and the UK. They also reviewed issues of mutual interest and highlighted the commitment of both countries to further strengthen bilateral military cooperation to promote regional stability. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Now, in response to Bahraini youth needs and aspirations, is Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed for the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to communicate with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to form a joint work group. The work group aims to study employment applications and provide the necessary proposals to accelerate the recruitment of unemployed youth. The Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, headed by Minister Ayman Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, communicated with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development headed by the Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan to form the working group and develop an executive framework in accordance with His Highness Sheikh Nasser's direction and the aspirations of the youth. The working group will develop programs, plans and strategies put forth to involve graduates in the labor market and develop a partnership between the government and the private sector in the employment process as well as provide His Highness Sheikh Nasser reports and recruitment solutions. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, gave a statement on the occasion of His Majesty the King Football Cup finale, in which he affirmed that the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for Bahraini sports resulted in its development and the achievements made in many international championships, noting that His Majesty's support also contributed to developing Bahraini football and to achieving a quantum leap that was the basis for fulfilling aspirations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that His Majesty's directives led the country towards the advancement of a sports movement that is capable of achieving competency and making achievements in various championships, including football. His Highness added that His Majesty's patronage of the Football Cup finale affirms His Majesty's support to football in the kingdom and its new strategy that has been adopted to ensure the development of Bahraini football. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated Rafa and head teams for qualifying for the finale of His Majesty the King Football Cup, expressing aspirations that the match will reflect the development of Bahraini football. His Highness hailed the support of the sponsoring companies asserting the importance of their partnership for the advancement of Bahraini football. He added that the company's support will also contribute to the implementation of the strategy of football development. 
His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his happiness and pride in the achievement of the Bahrain Meridia cycling team in the Tour of Oman. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted the team's achieving the first place confirms its great success, adding that this was the result of the cyclist's professional's level and performance. His Highness also pointed out that Sonny Colbrelli winning the first place in the Tour of Oman confirms that the team is proceeding according to the continuous successes which reflect the distinguished status that the team has in international competitions. His Honor Sheikh Nasser lauded the efforts of the team's technical and administrative bodies and all the contestants and wished them further success in the upcoming competitions. Bahrain's Merida cycling team won a deserved victory in the fourth round of the tournament which was 125 kilometers long and started from the Mount Sifa resort in Masqat to the Oman Exhibition and Convention Center in the state of Bushir. Deputy Premier and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized the ceremony organized by Bahrain Teachers College on the occasion of its 10th anniversary in the University of Bahrain in the presence of a number of Ministry of Education officials. His Highness expressed happiness in BTC's 10th anniversary, which is one of the Education and Training Development Project initiatives under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and reflects the achievements of the educational march. He noted that this occasion reflects the keenness in preparing, rehabilitation, and empowering of teachers to produce a capable and creative generation. He expressed gratification in the college's success in graduating qualified teachers who conform to international standards. His Highness praised the college's board of directors of and its dean and the educational body's efforts in improving the college, wishing everyone further success. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi expressed congratulations and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their support, praising the patronage of His Highness the Deputy Premier and affirming that the BTC project succeeded in achieving its goals upon His Highness's support. The minister affirmed that BTC successfully inspired the best international experiences, especially the Singapore experience, in the field of training teachers. Bahrain Teachers College Dean Dr. Ted Parnton expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness the Deputy Premier for his patronage, stressing the importance of BTC's role in serving education in Bahrain. His Highness the Deputy Premier then issued a book entitled 10 Years Bahrain Teachers College, the establishment of a world-class teachers college which included pictures and information regarding BTC's establishment stages, its development and achievements since. His Highness then honored the members of Board of Directors of the college and expressed appreciation for their efforts.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to inaugurate the 45th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition today, organized by the Bahrain Culture of Authority of Antiquities BACA with the participation of over 100 artists. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the President of the BACA, Sheikh May bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the Bahrain Arts Society, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, a number of ministers, senior officials, journalists, media personnel, and art enthusiasts. His Highness toured the exhibition and was briefed by the BACA president and the participating artists on the most prominent works of art in the exhibition. The deputy prime minister expressed admiration with this annual artistic event that reflects the creativity of the Bahraini artists. He conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to all the event's organizers and his wishes of success in presenting works of art that reflect Bahrain's high level of artistic movement. His Highness affirmed that the fine arts exhibition embodies the kingdom's civilization and its keenness to support artists. He also affirmed Bahrain's pride in its artists. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed and all BACA members for their efforts in organizing the exhibition. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Honorary President of the Bahrain Arts Society for the efforts exerted in organizing the event. The Deputy Prime Minister congratulated the winners of the exhibition's annual competition, wishing them further success. For her part, the BACA President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the exhibition and for supporting the cultural and artistic movement in the Kingdom. She also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa for attending on behalf of His Royal Highness. She affirmed that the exhibition has proved the ability to produce sustainable achievements, adding that its continuation is a clear indication that beauty and art have the property of survival, renewal and continuity. Sheikh Hamay noted that this year witnesses new sections that highlight the creativity of Arab artists and Bahraini pioneers of fine arts, in addition to the appreciation of distinguished exhibitors from inside and outside the kingdom.
The Embassy of Kuwait to the Kingdom of Bahrain held a reception on the occasion of the 58th anniversary of the National Day of Kuwait and the 28th anniversary of the Liberation Day, which was attended by a number of officials in the kingdom. The Ambassador of Kuwait to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Barak Al Sabah, highlighted the deep rooted brotherly and historic ties between the two countries and people and their keenness of their leadership to develop ties in the best interests of the two brotherly countries. Sheikh Azam Barak Al Sabah also pointed out that Bahrain's participation in these celebrations reflect the special relations between the two brotherly countries. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Islah Society Mosque in Muharraq in the presence of a number of officials, religious scholars, and residents. Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed affirmed that building mosques is a well established Islamic right. He asserted the kingdom's keenness led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on serving and maintaining mosques in belief in their vital role in spreading virtues and noble values. He also hailed the endeavor of Al Islah Society to build this Islamic edifice, noting the role of benefactors in constructing and maintaining mosques, commending the efforts of societies and charity organizations in spreading the values of moderation and serving the country and its people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met at his office in the Ministry's General Court today. The Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Alastair Burt, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain, on the sidelines of his visit to the Kingdom to chair the UK delegation participating in the UK Bahrain Joint Working Group. The Minister welcomed Alastair Burt, expressing the Kingdom's pride in the deep historical ties with the United Kingdom, which are based on the long years of distinguished friendship and bilateral work and characterized by progress and development in various political economic and security levels. He stressed Bahrain's continuous coordination with the United Kingdom and the exchange of visits between the two countries for the interests of the two countries and their people. For his part, Alastair Burt confirmed the UK's keenness to develop relations and cooperation with Bahrain in various fields. He also asserted the continuous consultations between the two sides and the exchange of views on all developments at regional and international levels. He noted the role played by the Kingdom in the establishment of security and peace, wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. The UK-Bahrain Joint Working Group held a meeting at the Ministry's General Court today under the chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Alastair Burt. The meeting was held in the presence of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, and a number of senior officials from various official bodies in Bahrain. The Minister hailed the achievements of the Bahrain-UK Joint Working group which will contribute to deepening the ties of friendship between Bahrain and the UK at all levels, enhancing communication and developing common coordination between the two countries in various regional and international issues and supporting the common interests of the two countries and their people. The minister said that Bahrain-UK Joint Working Group receives great support from the two countries as it is an important framework that reflects the common will to push forward the course of relations and enhance various aspects of cooperation for the benefit of the two countries. They discussed the areas of cooperation between Bahrain and the UK and the political, economic, social and cultural fields, in addition to what has been achieved from resolutions of the previous meetings of the Bahrain-UK Joint Working Group. 